Hello and welcome. In this video, we will take a look at how to add a new problem to Smart QED. Now, this is a, a fishbone page, and uh, we're going to do it from here uh, by clicking on this plus icon. Now, this is a sample problem which the tool generates for us. We didn't have to do it manually, but now we want to enter the problem manually. And we're going to do that by clicking on this plus button here. And if you hover around it, it says add new problem. So let's click on it. There, the form opens up. Problem number. Uh, you can choose anything to make it a bit meaningful. I keep it simple, P-001. The problem title, typically representative of the problem or the incident that you're trying to solve. Uh, let's say I am trying to solve an instance of website crashed. <coughs> gives you a time zone this is something that we've selected US specific problem time this is the time at which the problem occurred uh, you can pick it up from a calendar you can play with the times here so as of now we don't want to play with that so just let's just select it from the calendar and let's keep it at that all right there's a due date uh, it, this is an optional field but uh, just in case you want to set up a due date, you can do that. You can select the date or in this case, this website crashed. So we would like to recover as soon as possible. So maybe just give it a couple of hours. Yeah, that's pretty much it. External URL, if there is any, if you want to refer to some ticketing system, external problem ID, if there is any, we'll leave them blank for the time being. Priority, I'm going to put it as P1 right now, but there are other priorities that you can choose from or you can by default it will be unassigned. You can leave it at that or let's say P1 problem description. If you're short of time, you can skip this. But if you wish, you can enter some text here. For example, something like users not able to access website and you click on save here. And the problem is going to be created so once again you know, to summarize problem number is mandatory it's a red asterisk here keep it something which is meaningful or maybe something which ties to your ticketing system if necessary problem title is a representative you know text there and problem time due date if you want priority you have to but uh, by default it will be unassigned so that's fine we click on save and the problem will get created when the problem gets created, we will be routed to this fishbone page again. And now, in an earlier video, we had set up our components. So what you will notice is that all these components will have an issue or a cause tied to them. So for example, we had my app as a component. So we have a my app issue. We had my DB for database as a component. So we have a my DB issue. Likewise, my web issue. My network issue we also have other issue here and uh, this essentially becomes a starting point for incident management to solve the problem further so in in a subsequent video we will take a look at how to go ahead and use this you know skeleton of a fishbone to solve our incident or problem thank you